Yeah, in Germany, the market is like uh, really bad at the moment. Not okay. really bad, but it's bad, bad. Like it's everywhere bad. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, like uh, so, I I got a job as a like full stack Java developer, and before that, I did not you know work on the Java, but uh, but I did some classes on Java Spring Boot, like one year of classes. So I know proper understanding of like how it goes, like proper flow and everything, but. I did not, you know, like work on the re- real stuff, real projects. Okay, okay. So this was the first time I was doing the task. Okay. So yeah, so like I, I, I just wanted to know, like I used fake experience, but I, I don't have that much of confidence to be honest because you know, like I did not work. Mm-hmm. So I did not have a, a real experience. Okay. So I'm kind of scared, you know, like because I'm getting calls for the, you know, like. Uh, not the entry level position uh, after the masters, but I'm getting calls for the professional levels. You know, yeah, like obviously we'll for, get, uh, for professional level only because you are having. Such, yeah, but, yeah. yeah, but uh, okay. So what they expect in the professional level? Yeah, in the professional level, if you see, they will ask like a lot of things. They will ask in the perspective that they will understand like you are having five to six years experience. So they will ask based upon that only. So how many how many years of experience you actually show? Uh, while actually uh, two years, ten months. Okay, so they don't ask questions like uh, why three years gap and those things. Uh, no, no, no. So, so actually, I use that uh, later actually. So, I did my internship uh, in one company. So, I was working on the like C plus okay. plus, but I didn't want to continue my you know like uh, career in that language because you know they told me like we will give the thesis, but they were you know like. Uh, trying to shift me to some other project which was based on the like you know like embedded programming and i hate embedded programming that's mm-hmm. why you know like i switched from electronics to like it sector mm-hmm. so then yeah i affect my experience uh, uh, Achha, for how many years you have put as a fake experience two years and 10 months Okay. I use that experience total, like almost like uh, you can say like uh, three years. Okay. But uh, I cleared the interview, so they asked me questions like 12, 15 questions, technical interview. Mm-hmm. It was uh, in depth, but I was able to clear the interview because I studied for like one year. Uh, I I joined some classes from India, like very good classes. Mm-hmm. So I know the proper flow, like mm-hmm. why why to we like wha- how is the flow right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, after that, like only one interview I gave after my masters, and I, I was able to clear the interview, and okay. I got the joining months ago. Yeah. And now I'm getting you know like it's difficult to uh, getting the call back from the company because they are expecting I should speak German. Because the market is really bad, so many organizations are in like shut in Germany. Yeah, currently the yeah. market scenario outside is not that good. So, yeah, are you looking out for a job in Germany or anywhere else as of now? <laughs> See, to be honest, like uh, uh, in Germany itself, for some time, maybe I, I am not really big fan of Germany. Like, I, I, I miss my family. Like, my sister, my sister, uh, she works in like Luxembourg. Uh, so she's a, she's working in like Amazon like for the past four years, okay. but she's in the management role. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and I'm in the, like and I'm the big guy. So mm-hmm. like if I choose. So how did you so went to Germany basically? So you are originally from which place? So like India, Pune, Pune, Maharashtra. Okay, okay, Pune. Great. Like it will be wrong to say Pune, Maharashtra. To be honest, so mm-hmm. basically I am from like Nagpur side. Okay, okay, great. Yeah. So yeah. how did you went there? So. So yeah, like uh, after my UPSC, like my dad passed, so I left the UPSC stuff. I went back to my hometown, and uh, the COVID shit happens that time. So my mother told me, you know, like, oh, like if you stay here in India, like you will be wasting your time because so many people were, you know, like in their home itself, you know. So my sister was already in Germany, so they decided that I should do my masters. So yeah, then I did my masters in the software. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's how we did masters in Germany only, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got on-campus yeah. placement from masters? No, no. So here in Germany, there is no concept of on-campus stuff. Okay. It just, it's like the offline. You know, you just need to apply by yourself. Okay, they will not provide any on-campus. In no, 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 no. They will not call any companies. There is no culture. Okay, okay. In any college, in top colleges also. Uh. Yeah, that's true. Uh, like for the mom, uh, yeah, for for any college, it's not the culture, but mm-hmm. it depends on the company uh, college also. Like if they want to call some companies for the placements, not placements, but you know, like 
uh, you know about you know like uh, some presentation kind of stuff they will call so many companies they will have their brochure and you will ask maybe inquire mm-hmm. so they call for the bachelor's people okay. for the native you know, germans you know like who did their bachelor's so, yeah. yeah not yeah. for the masters yeah okay yeah so basically uh, you have to see like what is the current situation as of now so uh, still people are getting selected right still interviews are going on right so that means some or other place you need to think like yes there is a vacancy there is a recruitment still going on so if you see there will be a lot of vacancies or, or options that will be still going on so you, uh, you have to first optimize your resume so have you optimized your resume based upon your no no no, no no i i i will share my resume with once like uh, yeah Just I just want to talk with you. Yeah, yeah. I just want to talk about some stuff also. Mm-hmm. So you know, like I, so I, I started working in that company. I was working like almost like three and a half months. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was happy, you know, like it was if like first company I cracked the interview, you know, and I got selected. Mm-hmm. So I was able to understand the flow in itself, okay. Mm-hmm. But I was lacking the confidence here. But you know, like uh, my manager always used to. like uh he used to always you know like say good thing about me you know you are you are doing good work well sir because i got scared because one of my you know like uh, team colleague got fired after joining you know like uh, it's been one month i had joined the company and he got fired you know Achha. they like after the probation they did uh, they did not retain him mm-hmm. so i got scared that point because he was indian so okay. we were like two people two indian people and i got scared why they did not retain him okay, okay. but uh, my did man, they told any reason like why they fired person no no it's not like that they will not you know like share those you know, reason okay. so but so but my manager was good so one day we were traveling in some we were going somewhere so i i asked you know, like i i i i really got scared because of that stuff you know like uh, so then he told me will said it's uh, there are some different reason to that he told me because he was just doing their private appointment and he was used to you know like count that time in the office time so there are some multiple uh, reason mm-hmm. so then I, i but you know like but from that point i got scared you know like but Uh, I had that, you know, like fear. Yeah, that Maybe fear will still be fire. there in the mind. Case that same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but uh, always he used to, you know, like uh, say good uh, words about me. You are doing good work, and I whatever the task he gave me, I used to complete the task, no matter what. Okay. So currently, but are you I working that, or you have resigned? So uh, sorry, what? Currently, are you working or you resigned? No, no, no. I am. I am uh, applying for the interviews. I am. You know, like uh, they are just ghosting. So, like, so many recruiters reach out to me, but uh, they are expecting I should speak German, like maybe some B or B two level, and I already did like A two level. So, I, last time I had interview with only one company, Informatica. Mm-hmm. So they told me to create the uh, MVC project, like the. So they told me, okay, so this is the criteria. You need to create the project. You need to create. So they told me, okay, we will some 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 data, some user data. You need to store. You don't need to. You don't need to connect with the database. You need to use some static databases like Map or something like that. So I created the proper flow, the mm-hmm. controller, the service, and the repository. In memory database, have you used there, right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You can say in memory database. Uh, hash Map only used. Mm-hmm. So after that, it was okay. I was able to, you know, like send the data from the postman. I was able to go store the data in the hash map. I was able to retrieve the data. Mm-hmm. And after that, they asked me some other questions also. They asked me like, uh, okay, so it was like about the, uh, okay, what, uh, like how do you do the validation stuff? He asked me. Uh-huh. So uh, I thought he is asking me maybe you know like if you are passing some user name right, mm-hmm. so. You should only pass the uh, characters with the word, mm-hmm. not the integers. So I told him, you know, like in the Spring Boot, we have some already uh, inbuilt annotations, right? You can use maybe mm-hmm. it should be that. So he told me, okay, but uh, what like if you use in the like front, like like where do you use it? He asked me like whether in the front end or in the back end itself. So I yes. told him we can also use in the front end itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, So he told me like, what is the pros and cons of that? Mm-hmm. So I told him, if you do in the front end, it's good, right? Because uh, the serv- the call will not get to the back end part. I told him, no, it will be checked in the front end itself. Yes, yes, yes. Got, yeah, but he got deeper. So I, uh, he told me like, and what are the cons about that? He told me also. He asked me, but I was not able to answer. Mm-hmm. And after that, he asked me, okay, uh, 
write the unit test case for that and i got stuck in the assertion part i got stuck because i haven't wrote the unit test case test so yeah so, so that basically is when depth in depth in api gateway and how will you validate the user data and uh, mm-hmm. means there will be annotations that you have to use like at it not blank and there it yeah, 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 yeah those yeah. kind of annotations are required as well and authentication yeah. authorization those things also they can, they might be expecting like how we have to authenticate okay. those things. maybe i did not able to understand that part mm-hmm. uh, yeah so that is a very important part basically because input yeah. data can be very much uh, crucial because they can pass password also so password is right, yes. sensitive so how will you handle that so we have mm-hmm. to return bcrypt password encoder so those kind of things yes. are very important so that will come yes. under authentication part so that's why yes, actually data. Ah, that's a very yeah, important. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, you know, like, so it was like my second interview. Like mm-hmm. after that company, it was like my second interview. So I did not had that experience. You know, like how to do the interview. And I told him, you know, like it's my first experience after this company. Mm-hmm. So I'm not like so. You know, like if you do some five to six interview, then you understand like how to prepare yourself. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so i was very frank with them i told them like yeah so i'm not uh, so it was like my first interview so mm-hmm. but i i i was okay i need to do good interview but i was happy right so because in the uh, first year, like in my previous company so it was like theoretical only mm-hmm. they asked me some technical questions i gave them answer they were satisfied because they was like director of the management mm-hmm. and i was happy in this interview because it was like coding challenge okay they told me like what they wanted what i want to achieve and i was able to create the entire project so okay. i was happy yeah so they got, expected you to implement end to end right end to end yeah 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 and i was happy okay because this was you know like my first time i was able to write the entire code mm-hmm. yeah so i'm just ready for the interview call so what so happened with informatica then any reason uh, they rejected me they they rejected me uh, because at the end i asked you know like uh, like they asked me like oh, do you want to ask some questions so i told them like uh, let's be frank and can you just guys tell me how was my interview you know like uh, did you like it or not so they told me okay you tell me you tell us like uh, how was your interview mm-hmm. so i told them you know like uh, i will not rate it like you know like really good it was like okay okay i told them i was really frank mm-hmm. and yeah and i because you are when they uh, said uh, when they said you know like uh, they wanted to all shape them into j unit test cases and yeah, j unit test cases are very important for so whenever yeah. they provide any new user stories to implement in project level so they are mm-hmm. after writing code they just don't uh, expect you to just finish it and go to next story they will just tell you to write this j unit test case and all uh, scenarios needs to be covered with the business logic implementation here that we have yeah to So and they also asked me one question like where do you validate that maybe what like uh, if you should want to log in right uh, mm-hmm. it should has the minimum age of 18 so i told them like uh, yeah, i validation I mean, that needs to be it's logic the service class itself i i told him so after that uh, i understood because i was a bit i got stuck in the j in test cases so i understood okay because because obviously right if you are the software developer you should know how to write the unit test cases so i understood maybe they will you know like reject me mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah but i so from that day you know like i'm just preparing the uh, those stuff yeah, because i would just take the learning and try to work on those things basically yes yes yes, yes, yes yeah, yeah. yeah. And so then, okay maybe I mean, yeah then after sorry. that uh, you have to work on your resume and you have to work upon your linkedin basically because your linkedin also is a place is a it will work like a resume for you because all the mm-hmm. recruiters and hiring managers will look into your linkedin profile as well they will mm-hmm. see that whether that particular profile is good fit or not so they are going through each and every person's linkedin profile those who have optimized their bio so if you have gone mm-hmm. through my linkedin profile you will get to know like what all things i have put in the heading in the work experience in the project details everything i have put one step by step because in work experience part if you go there is 2100 characters to write so you have mm-hmm. you have to make the best use of those characters right we are not writing anything in that so we have okay. to make use of it you have to put everything what you have implemented in your project level and all with that with that uh, particular company apart from writing what to what years of experience you have and what is the project name that is fine but apart from that what all things you have actually done there that also you have to put it there in the work experience section in the professional mm-hmm. section yeah. and if okay. you have done any project that also you can put it in github and that link also you can put it in your linkedin profile 
Okay, I'll try to optimize that. So, have you seen your ATS scanning score, relevant score? I, I don't know, like, um, but uh, we have to check the ATS score, like. Yeah, there is a website for that. I am sharing with you. It's hmm. uh, resumeworded.com. So, have you heard of this ATS scanning? No, 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 no. Resume verdict. Resumeworded.com. So, let me share with you. Worded, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Resume worded, okay. So, okay. Is it? It's free, right? Uh, yeah, up to certain extent, it's free. Okay. But I can give you the entire in-depth analysis because I'm having the paid one. Basically. Okay, 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 okay. Just, just okay, okay. So, can, just can I just check like what's my CV score? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. share. I, uh, I have shared you the exact URL. You can go through that okay, and yeah. you can upload your resume. You can share okay. your screen then, like what your score is showing. Uh, okay, let me just share the screen. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, okay, entire screen, I guess, right? Okay, yeah. Entire screen, share. Oh, are you able to see my screen? Currently, no. Yeah, now uh, I can no? see. Yes. Okay. So it's my screen. Okay. scan each and everything from top to top okay yeah, ah, only 35 <laughs> it should be at least 85 if it is above 80 it's good but 85 is better so if you see okay. there are multiple parameters based on which it will scan your resume if you see in the left hand side there is impact hmm. brevity style section soft skill these are parameters based upon which it will scan it so mm -hmm. can you go to impact part okay mm -hmm. So these are the things that is actually lacking here. So, uh, however, I am how I am seeing you haven't put any strong quantifying metrics. There is no metrics mm -hmm. like how, any number certain. Like you have worked with how much team and what was the response uh, got generated because of your work. What was the impact got generated because of your work? Let's suppose you have worked in a project for this to this time. And because of that, your implementation, you have reduced the response time by this much percentage and you have uh, delivered the project on time to client or before time to client. So what was the impact? So you have to write that impact part. After your implementation, what has actually happened in the company's uh, in growth and all. So those are things also you have to implement with respect to quantifying metrics. So that is uh, actually lacking. So you have to add okay. certain numbers. Okay, so but this one, like you can see, right? Like twenty percent, like yeah, only one it is there. It's less actually. You have to quantify it with proper description. At least two to three lines in each bullet points. So if you see all other, because uh, the recruiters will see it from the initial step. So you have written the main thing at last. So they will not see at last first. They will first see first two to three bullet points. If ah. they can see like, yes, it's up to the mark, then only they can see further. So important points, you should always put it at first. Oh. And uh, yeah, and the summary part you have written, no. So I don't think so. Summary is required for experienced candidate. If it is two to okay. three years and above uh, experienced candidate, it is not required a summary part. Directly, I start writing the uh, work experience, like from okay. which date to which date we have worked. So let me share you my resume so you will get an idea like how it's yeah. be implemented. Okay, let me stop sharing. Like I am totally new to you know like this CV stuff you know like yeah so and you know like I I was very really new to the project and they did not uh, give me the you know like the knowledge transfer also so I don't have that in depth knowledge of the project also you know. Yeah, but I, I used start. But yeah, in the I initial level, uh, those many problems will be there because uh, people are focusing upon increasing their technical skills, and that is fine. But mm -hmm. you have to work upon your building your resumes and building their own personal brand. That is also very much important. Because okay. if you are not doing that now, so at later point of time, you will be amongst the crowd, and crowd is huge, mm -hmm. and requirement is less. And how will the shortlist mm -hmm. you? Yes, so yes, there true. should be certain specific thing in you. That's why they can proceed ahead. It, because requirements are keep on getting reduced so they are expecting okay, a lot of things from a single candidate okay and uh, one more thing yes so 
did they uh, like okay if i just tried some percentage like 20 30 percent it got increased so like they will ask me like how these numbers got generated like something like yeah you have to prepare yourself in the back of the mind like if they ask question based upon any metrics you should be able to answer this so all will have the similar kind of answers only except two or okay. three okay so okay. you can tell like we have worked in a team and we have uh, uh, delivered this thing to the client well before time so it it will it will all depend upon what all metrics you are quantifying so based upon that you have to uh, describe your answers basically. Okay. so you have to prepare for two or three metrics so if they are focusing on others you can just relate into the past metrics and tell them okay. the answer should be there in your mind whether you have actually done or you have just made it it's totally up to you they will not be able okay. to ask you and they will not be able to go and see like whether you have done the same thing or not but you should be mm -hmm. telling the same thing with confidence that is okay, the okay. yeah let me share my screen once. so where are you like in which city are you i am currently in varanasi in up oh varanasi nice. yeah. so i came here just for this uh, five days long weekend is there so that's why right. Otherwise, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise, yeah. I am in uh, uh, Bangalore, basically, for job. And okay, so you are working in the Bangalore. Okay, yes, but how's so Bangalore? Like, it's cr it's crowded, right? It's too crowded all the time. Yeah, know, it's like, crowded, yeah. but it's hybrid, no? So two days, two three days only. Ah, we are okay. going to office, so that's why mm -hmm, it's not getting mm -hmm. much impact. So can you see my screen now? Uh, yeah. So you can see my resume, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you see. In the uh, heading section, you have to put in bold letters as well. Okay, important, okay. important things. You have to put in mm -hmm. bold so that uh, ca it catches the attention. Very good. Okay. Then I have started writing professional experience. Okay, okay. I didn't write any other thing. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. what's the kind of thing? Only important stuff. So what it does uh, likes to see in your resume. Okay. So what's the current company? What's the project? Which client I have served and which date to which date? Directly jump to roles and responsibility. What actually I have worked? Actual thing I have worked. I have okay. upgraded the current uh, uh, system physically. Then I have mm -hmm. le led the implementation with this. This I have not made use of any personal pronouns. I have made a strong action verbs. Then if you see in every bullet points, I have some other other quantifying metrics. Okay. So mm -hmm. first one was not needed because I just work on the upgradation part. So from next point, if you see, I have put numbers and all. 25% okay. increase in deployment success rate, then mm -hmm. over 50 J unit test cases I have written. So it may be with respect to how many teams you have worked, it may be how many J unit test cases, it may be like uh, what was the response time improvement you have done after your implementation, and then uh, what's the decrease in deployment time. So with respect to anything, you have to just focus on building good numbers. Okay? So all bullet points, if you focus over here, all are depicting certain quantifying metrics, which states that each and every point will tell about yourself, like how you have worked and what all things you have focused upon. So okay. this is the first uh, project. If you go to second project, visa and all. So in each and every bullet point, if you see, I've added some or the other number. So if you hmm. see the first part, what I actually worked, refactoring the code. Okay. Then after that, what was the impact? because of my doing the refactoring. So if you see that this is the reason, this is the actual impact which I have done after this work. This is the work which I have done and this is the impact which is created. Okay, so mm -hmm. that is the most of the candidates are making this type of mistakes only. They are just writing what they did in the project, but they are not writing what is the actual impact they have created in the particular project for the client after their implementation of that task. So that, okay. that also we have to implement with certain quantified metrics. So if you see over here, which led to an increase in the speed, increasing the speed also is very important. Means the response time automatically gets reduced as the speed of the microservice gets increased, right? So that also numbers we have to write it. If you're writing directly increase in speed of microservice, still here also if you are writing, no, it will be increasing the uh, trustworthiness a bit, but still it's uh, lacking certain thing. It, will lack the trustworthiness basically a bit more because you are not writing by how much it will look like a very vague thing like increase means how much increase okay if it is 0.01 percent also that also is increased but it's not a good increase right so that also you have to tell like what was the actual percentage change you have done as an impact that also you have to put and uh, this is uh, four pointers if you see there should be minimum 12 bullet points across all your projects 
if you see okay. over here it is four bullet point this is four bullet points this is four bullet points if you see total there are 12 bullet points okay this is for one of the company only if i go to cgi this is my uh, second last to last company so here i've put like three bullet points then uh, the first company again two bullet points okay so minimum 12 bullet points should be there 12 to 20 bullet points that is the ideal ats compliant resume should have this many number of bullet points okay then i have to write skills and all and their education and then achievement if you are having then we have to put it at last so this is the thing okay. basically recruiters will look for it will start from your professional experience all your work experiences then skills okay. then education and then any other things Okay, but uh, just one question, like, can you share this uh, CV uh, with me? So maybe I yes, can yes, just... yes, 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 let me share it. And uh, one more thing, uh, okay, so actually I, I wrote very sh uh, small sentences, right? Maybe half or like maybe uh, like only one line of sentence, right? Mm -hmm. For each bullet point. So yeah. that's too short, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to improve. I improvise a bit on that. So okay, let me upload it. Uh, can you send me your resume to me once? Okay, okay. I'm just sending you. Let, I'm just checking like how to send it. Okay, maybe okay. Charge. Okay. Google Meet is it okay. showing to send? Can we send it over? Uh, no. Uh, like, or you can know, send through okay. LinkedIn as well. There is okay. Okay, maybe I will just send it to you right away. Hmm. So, how is Varanasi? So, like, is it your hometown or like or what? Yeah, it's a hometown. We lived here for oh. twenty years. <laughs> oh, nice. So, you want to settle in Bangalore or? Yeah, yeah, yeah Bangalore. Only. You, you yeah. have some other plans? Yeah, I'm on Bangalore only. I'm thinking as of. Well. Okay. Because there only companies are there. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, you know like uh, uh, one more thing i just wanted to tell like you know like so i talked some of my friends and you know like i i asked them like how is your interview experience like whenever they give some interview and they tell me some questions okay these are the questions and i was able to understand the question and i also have that answer you know okay yeah so i have that i have that knowledge you know but so what happened in this company actually so the project so it was like product based company and it was like huge the project structure i was very new to like dto also you know mm -hmm. like why do we use the dto why don't we use the entity class directly mm -hmm. so uh, that time i was not able to understand but if you see their control classes also they had like maybe 10 15 lines of code in the control itself because yes. they were setting so many stuff mm -hmm. and uh, it was Lambda 2. They were uh, using proper structure mm -hmm. uh, with Lambda and all, and I was very interested yes. the Lambda mm -hmm. because I haven't worked with this, right? So I thought of it you know, like, why to use the Lambda? So it was very difficult for me, you know, like, to use a model mapper because I haven't uh, heard the model. Yeah, model mapper anyway. is very important thing, basically, to map all the fields. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, so, all yeah. things you have to write set and letter for all the fields. Yeah. It's actually very cumbersome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so then I I studied that how to use the model mapper, how to use D2 and stuff. So I understood, okay, why? Because we don't want to tell them a database structure, right? Because L, they will do some SQL injection stuff if you. Uh, SQL about. hijacking also is, can be done. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so I'm just learning every day new stuff. Uh, I, I did classes, like really good classes. Like, mm -hmm. I also know the microservice concept and everything. Mm -hmm. I also did my thesis on that, but I, I'm just liking experience. I just need some, you know, like work maybe like six months or like one year. Then, I so like, in okay. current company, are you still working there? No, 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 like, entire division got laid out like 200 or 300 people because the entire company got shut. So it was like a huge company, Renus Logistics is a like whole entity, big entity. And that's right. in that company we had one division called Renus Flight Network. That's right. Yeah. Whole division got laid off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, nobody was, you know, like uh, knew about that stuff, to be honest. My manager or like my director also, they did not know like what is going to happen because the new CEO, he just take our division. He got take out that division. And that was the first time he came to the office and he gathered all uh, all of us and he was announcing something in german so i was not able to understand what he's trying to say mm -hmm. so i asked my manager and he told you know like he just fired everybody because the company is going 
going to shut mm-hmm. uh, and they are just also seeing the project to some bank or kathal or something like that the so company was a mid level or a mid second no so renus logistic is like big company like really big company mm-hmm. or so it has some been billion euro like turn over kind of stuff okay. but they had a uh, separate separate you know like entities like okay. for the like it like for in house uh, project mm-hmm. so yeah so basically i have seen but my past yeah so okay. there are two things wilson cv wilson and gary resume so which one so write down uh both both check the both actually yeah. okay. i created two yeah some one is fancy that's <laughs> one is very simple yeah okay. because you know whenever i see you know like uh, so my so my sister is like senior level mm-hmm. so whenever uh, somebody applies to the uh, amazon right so mm-hmm. i can see their cv because she sends uh, not send me but uh, she show me some cv so i saw some sometimes it's really plain cv uh it should be very much simple if you make yeah. it more complicated and fancy it will uh, not be ats compliant also and the press will need to search it out the specific keywords mm-hmm. yeah because they are yeah, not yeah. anyway linked to you right they will not know be knowing you before that yeah. so they will understand you through your resume only so it should have proper keywords in your resume okay so let's and uh, also one uh, one more thing like yeah. uh, can you also like uh, uh, maybe send me because if you tell me i will maybe forget like uh, is it fine for you like you, you will send me so if, if i am telling some number right okay uh, i did something and because of that uh, the number uh, like yeah i will tell you those numbers or what all exact thing you have to write that also i will be telling you okay. yeah yeah so let me share my screen once okay yeah. Can you see my screen? Uh, yeah, it's loading. Yeah, now I can. Yeah. Yeah. So let me upload it. So which one should I check for now for review? Uh, b- the first uh, yeah wilson cv only this one yeah it because that one is the fancy one the first is really fancy so all are fancy uh, which one is simple no no the wilson cv yes, this one cv okay yeah the one you know like we just got 35 this is the one actually acha acha yeah you speak in the right yeah yeah i speak in are to fir to theek hai okay यही से तो हिंदी तो आती है हाँ जो वहाँ कोई वहाँ कोई हिंदी बोलने वाला नहीं है क्या इंडियंस बहुत भरे भरे पड़े हैं बट कोई भी साउथ वाले भी है ना तो उनको फिर वो लैंग्वेज बैरियर आ जाता है उनका मेरे जो फ्रेंड्स है वो कोई दिल्ली का है कोई ये मतलब वहाँ भी है हिंदी वाले का अब मैंने ये वाला थोड़ा अभी बनाया था सिंपल वाला सीवी ना ये अभी बनाया था मैंने अच्छा ये प्लेन वाला है यहां पर फिक्स में जाएंगे ये बता देगा कि कौन-कौन से लाइन में इशू आ रहा है तो यहां पर देखोगे इधर डायरेक्टली बता रहा है इन चार्ज ऑफ क्रिएटिंग न्यू प्रोसेस ये वीकर है यहां पर स्ट्रांग बनाने के लिए कुछ नंबर्स ऐड करने पड़ते हैं इस तरह के ठीक है ओके यहां पर अगर मैं क्लिक करूंगा तो यहां पर एक एआई राइटिंग मोड है इसका हम्म तो यहाँ पर ये जनरेट कर देगा सजेशंस ओके तो मैं तुमको देता जाऊंगा ठीक है ना इसको तुम एज इट इज उस पर तुम्हारा इसका वर्ड फॉर्मेट है ना ओके मैं भेजू क्या वर्ड फॉर्मेट नहीं 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 अपने पास रखो उसका एक ओरिजिनल फॉर्मेट रखना इसका एक क्लोन फॉर्मेट रखना उस पर मैं जो जो चीज बताऊंगा उसका एज इट इज कॉपी करके उसमें डालते रहना अब ये बताओ अपने प्रोजेक्ट के हिसाब से कौन सा वाला बेस्ट सूटेड है इसमें बहुत सारा सजेस्ट सजेस्टेड दे दिया है एआई का क्वालिटी 
बट एक बार बताओ साढ़े तीन चार महीने के एक्सपीरियंस के लिए क्या बताना चाहिए लेकिन मैं भी बड़ा नया हूँ तो मुझे भी आइडिया नहीं है अच्छा तो हाँ तो साढ़े तीन चार महीने में आदमी बहुत प्रोजेक्ट्स में भी मतलब बहुत सारे उसमें भी काम कर सकते हैं स्टोरीज में भी डिपेंड करता है जैसे स्टार्टअप वाला होगा तो काफ़ी सारा काम करना रहता है ओके तो एम में उतना उतना नहीं होता है जितना स्टार्टअप में होता है तो वो मॉडरेट लेवल पर तुम नंबर्स डाल सकते हो अच्छा तो कुछ जैसे इसमें से ये वाला अच्छा रहेगा इसमें नाइन्टी परसेंट कोर्ट सबमिशन जो है बेंचमार्क क्वालिटी को बीट करेगा ये ये वाला चीज चूज कर सकते हो ओके और ये वाला सबसे बेस्ट लग रहा है मुझे डालने के लिए चलो ठीक है हाँ ये मैं भेज दे रहा हूँ वो तुम ऑप्टिमाइज कर लेना कि कौन से वाले लाइन के सामने ये वाला लिखना है हाँ हाँ एक मैडम मैं उसका एक विल्सन सीवी मेरा वर्ड फाइल ये है इसका एक कॉपी बना लेते हो हाँ कर दिया पेस्ट ये देखो ग्रीन वाला देखोगे तो ये ए टी एस कॉम्प्लाइंट है क्योंकि इसमें नंबर भी डाल रखा है और ये सफिशियंटली डिस्क्राइब किया हुआ है लेकिन इसको सबसे लास्ट अच्छा ओके okay. तो ये जो पहला अभी ये जो है तो ये लास्ट वाला जो पॉइंट है इसको ऊपर डाल दूँ क्या सबसे पहले हाँ डाल सकते हो कोई सुनिए अभी सारा लाइन ऑप्टिमाइज होगा ना तो मैं सारे का अलग अलग लाइन बता करके दूंगा मैं तो वो अगर अच्छा। ये लास्ट में भी रहेगा तो कोई इशू नहीं है सारा चीज़ ऑप्टिमाइज होगा अच्छा चलो ठीक है तो मैं एक काम करता हूँ पहला वाला ना कॉपी कर देता हूँ हाँ पहला वाला तो उसकी जगह इसको डाल दो ओके फर्स्ट क्वार्टर यानी क्या होता है लाइक फर्स्ट क्वार्टर मतलब पहला तीन महीना ओके पहला तीन महीना ओके हाँ फिर सही है मैंने ये हाँ मैंने कर दिया ये अच्छा डाल दिया ना हाँ अब तू ऐसा क्या नॉलेज देख रहे हैं तो वही इम्प्लीमेंटेड एन न्यू फीचर इन डी बैक एंड ये तो बेग लग रहा है क्योंकि इसके बाद क्या हुआ ये तो बताया नहीं ना ऐसा इम्पैक्ट इम्प्लीमेंट करने के बाद क्या मिला क्लाइंट वो हाँ तो इससे क्या हुआ है ना कि जो जैसे मैं आपको बताता हूँ तो जब फ्रंट एंड तो बड़ा नया था मेरे लिए पहली बात क्योंकि हम फ्री मार्केट टेम्पलेट यूज़ कर रहे थे जावा स्क्रिप्ट भी बड़ा नया था मैंने कभी काम नहीं किया था बट मैंने चार जी पी यूज़ किया था तो उससे मुझे तुरंत कुछ ने बोला कि उसका ऐसा चाहिए था कि अगर हम कुछ चीज़ें सर्च करते राइट तो हम क्या सोचते मैं आपको बताता हूँ हमारा फ्लो कैसे था कि तो एयर एंड ओशन पर काम करते थे हम लोग एयर एंड ओशन पे एयर और ओशन एयर में फ्लाइट ओशन पे जैसा शिप जाता है राइट तो आपको जैसे कुछ लॉजिस्टिक्स वाली कंपनी थी मेरी यूरेनस लॉजिस्टिक्स तो आपको अगर एक डेस्टिनेशन सॉरी एक सोर्स के डेस्टिनेशन पे जाना है राइट हो सकता है डायरेक्टली वो हो सकता है कि बीच में कुछ स्टॉप्स है राइट अच्छा तो अगर मेरे को जैसे ट्रैवल करते समझ लो इंडिया से डेली नॉट सॉरी इंडिया से जर्मनी राइट तो मैंने जैसे बीच में कहीं रुक गया राइट तो वो ऐसे सीक्वेंस में आना चाहिए अगर वो डायरेक्ट नहीं है तो एक दो तीन स्टेप्स में आना चाहिए तो ये बताएगा जैसे मैं पहले इंडिया टू सऊदी गया फिर सऊदी से फ्रांस गया फ्रांस से जर्मनी गया अच्छा अच्छा तो उसमें ना साइड में फिर बटन्स भी आना चाहिए डिलीट वाले एडिट वाले राइट तो मैंने वो फीचर इंप्लीमेंट किया ठीक है अच्छा, तो हम उसको जैसे पूरे को जैसा सोर्स टू डिस्ट्रिक्ट हम ट्रांजिट बोलते थे प्रॉपर और ट्रांसमेंट बोलते थे और अगर उस तो उसके अंदर में जैसा तीन स्टेप्स है राइट तीन लेवल है उसको सेगमेंट वन सेगमेंट टू सेगमेंट थ्री कहते थे अच्छा अगर मैं किसी बीच को डिलीट करूँ तो सेगमेंट वन से डायरेक्ट सेगमेंट थ्री हो जाएगा राइट तो मेरे को नंबर भी चेक करना है बराबर है कि वो अगर बीच वाला टू डिलीट करूँ तो तीसरा नंबर टू पे आ जाए सीधा फिर वन और टू हो जाए ना कि वन और थ्री अगर सेगमेंट वन सेगमेंट वन है सेगमेंट टू है सेगमेंट थ्री है सेगमेंट टू को डिलीट कर दिया अच्छा तो अच्छा क्या होता है सेगमेंट वन और सेगमेंट थ्री बराबर है बट वो नंबर भी तो बदलना राइट बीच दो करूँ तो तीन भी दो होना चाहिए तो मैंने उसको भी इम्प्लीमेंट किया था अच्छा अरे बटन की फंक्शनैलिटी भी मैंने किया था अच्छा अच्छा जब मैं बहुत ही नया था लेकिन नया ही था नहीं पता था कैसे करते अच्छा अच्छा तो उस वक्त क्या टीम के साथ काम करा थे क्या अकेले काम किया था नहीं वो अकेला वो मैंने खुद अकेले किया था अच्छा अच्छा तो वो किया था और बैक एंड पे तो बहुत सारे ऐसे मैंने जैसे कंट्रोलर क्लासेस वगैरह बनाए थे मैंने कि 
तो हम एक कोई माइग्रेशन का वैसे तो बहुत सारे लिखा था हम लोग डेटा जे पी यूज नहीं करते थे इसके लिए डेटा बेस कनेक्टिविटी के लिए हम रो मैप पर यूज करते थे अच्छा अच्छा मैंने पूछा कि यार हम क्यों इतना बड़ा क्वेरी लिख रहे राइट हम डायरेक्ट भी डेटा जे पी यूज करेंगे तो हो जाएगा इतना क्वेरी लिखने की जरूरी उन्होंने बोला कि नहीं परफॉर्मेंस वाइज क्योंकि डेटा जे में एच यूज होता है तो इंटरनली वो एच पे कन्वर्ट होकर फिर थोड़ा परफॉर्मेंस इश्यू रहता है बोला कि हम ये बोला चलो ठीक है हाँ तो फिर रो मैप पर भी बड़ा रहता है मेरे लिए कि रो मैप पर वगैरह क्या होता है करके तो उसमें ये था कि जैसा जैसा हमारा जो था एयर एंड ओशन था टेनेंट थे अलग अलग टेनेंट थे तो जैसा होता है ना जैसा गीटअप है जैसा गीटअप है राइट तो अगर कोई कंपनी है महिंद्रा तो उनका ऐसा नाम लिखा रहेगा ना एक महिंद्रा गीट दूसरी कंपनी है कोई तो उनका गीट तो अल, तो ये अलग अलग टेनेंट है राइट तो मेरे को ये करना था कि अगर हम कोई डेटा इसमें आता है तो डेटाबेस में टेनेंट भी जाना चाहिए अच्छा। तो कौन से टेनेंट से आ रहा है तो मैंने वो भी ऐसे कुछ चीजें भी इम्प्लीमेंट की धीरे 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 अच्छा अच्छा तो ऐसे छोटे मोटे टास्क किया तो तो वो मैंने वही दोस्तों के देखा राइट की कैसे क्या होते हैं उसको दो लाइन में बुलेट पॉइंट में विद क्वानिफाइड मेट्रिक्स एड कर सकते हो एज ए वन बुलेट पॉइंट ठीक है फिर उससे लिंक जो भी चीज सब पॉइंट्स में डाल सकते हो कि उससे क्या क्या इम्पैक्ट हुआ उसको सेकंड बुलेट पॉइंट्स में डाल सकते हो ठीक है उसका मतलब अच्छे से पहले लिख लो नोटपैड प्लस प्लस में कि वो पूरा चीज क्या क्या चीज किए हो फिर देखो कि उसको एक या दो बुलेट पॉइंट में कैसे ब्रेक कर सकते हो फिर ब्रेक करके फिर उसको टॉप वन एंड टू टू बुलेट पॉइंट्स में प्रोजेक्ट वर्क के अंदर डाल सकते हो इस तरह से डिवाइड करके लिख सकते हो चलेगा हाँ ठीक है तो इसमें से सेलेक्ट करो इसमें से मैंने ऑलरेडी बता दिया ये वाला जो पार्ट है इस वाले का इसी में ही तुमने किया हुआ था क्या जो अभी बता हाँ हाँ ये इसी में इम्प्लीमेंटेशन से बाइंड फ्रंट एंड कंपोनेंट ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन हाँ इसमें तुम ऐड कर सकते हो वो वाला पार्ट बीच में चलो ठीक है हाँ इसमें से सेलेक्ट कर लो जो उसके लिए ठीक है आई थिंक फर्स्ट वाला ठीक लग रहा है वैसे इन डेवलपमेंट फाइव न्यू फीचर बोल बैक जहाँ <laughs> तो वो क्लाइंट लोग यूज़ कर रहे थे तो थे तो 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 इंप्लीमेंट किया था कुछ उनको लगता था तो बता देते पहले जो प्लेटफॉर्म उन लोग यूज कर रहे थे सेम काम को करने के लिए और आफ्टर आवर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन उसमें बहुत डिफरेंस आया फोर्टी परसेंट ज्यादा इंक्रीज हुआ यूजर इंगेजमेंट में जब मेरा एप्लीकेशन okay. नहीं गया था लाइव और जब अभी एप्लीकेशन लाइव चला गया तो अभी यूजर इंगेजमेंट रेशियो काफी बढ़ गया है ठीक है इस तरह से इम्प्लीमेंटेशन में बता सकते हो अगर क्वेश्चन पूछा तो ये मैं सेंड कर दे रहा ये उसके सामने ऐड कर देता जो भी चेंज किया था ओके तो पहले मेरे को वो बताना पड़ेगा क्या वो वो चीज राइट यूजर एंगेजमेंट वाली उसके बाद ये ऐड करना है क्या नहीं 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 इस यही वाले लाइन को हटा करके जो अभी ले भेजा है उसको रिप्लेस कर सकता हूं अच्छा ओके तो मैं कर रहा हूं यहां हां कि जो सारे लाइंस जो लिखे हो ना ये बहुत ही वेग लाइंस है मतलब इसमें कुछ मैं कुछ इंपैक्ट नहीं है लिखा हुआ इसका सही है हां मुझे भी समझ में आ रहा है अभी हां डेवलप कोड राइट स्क्रिप्ट यूज्ड बाय द सफिक्स है बहुत ही वेग वेग लाइंस है हम्म 
अरे मैंने अभी आपको ऐसा जर्मन सी भी दिखा हुआ ना लेकिन मैंने मेरे कलिक को पूछा मैंने तो उसका सी दिखा तो बड़ा प्लेन सा सी है ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं लिखा है तो मुझे समझा नहीं पहली बात की क्या देखते हैं ऐसे तो मैंने फिर ऐसे बना लिया एक दोस्त का इंडिया से दे, देखा मैंने उसका कैसे और फिर मैंने भी ऐसे लिख लिया तो उसको कॉल्स आते थे कि नहीं आते थे वो तो इंडिया वाले जो मेरी फ्रेंड है वो तो बढ़िया जॉब कर रही है प्रोडक्ट बेस्ट कंपनी में अच्छा कर अच्छा, रही हो अच्छा, 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 अच्छा। तो उसका रिजो में देखे हो कि उसमें कुछ नंबर्स वगैरह तो होगा ना मतलब अच्छे से बना करके लिखा तो होगा उसने शायद बहुत पहले बना के रखा था वो अपडेट भी नहीं किया था उसने तो आप बहुत पहले अगर तीन चार साल पहले का देखोगे तो उस वक्त इतना सब कुछ नहीं देखते थे उसमें राइट हां फैंसी वर्ड्स वही लिखते होंगे बस कुछ कीवर्ड्स मैच हो जाने चाहिए तो हो जाएगा लेकिन आज के टाइम में कंपटीशन बहुत हाई है तो उसके लिए तो मतलब पर्टिकुलरली लिखना पड़ेगा कि मतलब उस जॉब के हिसाब से तुम्हें हर बार रिज्यूमे चेंज करते रहना पड़ेगा तुम एक ही रिज्यूमे सारे जॉब में नहीं भेज सकते तो उसके हिसाब से आपको ऑप्टिमाइज भी करना पड़ता है हम्म हम्म तो मैं जल्दी जल्दी करके वो बना करके भेज दे रहा हूँ उसमें क्या क्या लिखना है सेकंड वाला लिख दिया ना हाँ वो लिख लिया ठीक है थर्ड वाले का भेज देते हैं आ, मुझे एक बताओ मुझे एक बताओ अगर ये ऐसे भेजने से अगर टाइम जा रहा होगा मैं आपको डॉक्यूमेंट फाइल भेजू क्या आप डायरेक्ट उधर पेस्ट कर लूंगे क्या मे बी टाइम भी बचेगा हाँ ठीक है ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ना हाँ तो मैं आपको ना डॉक्यूमेंट भेज रहा हूँ डॉक फाइल तो टाइम सेविंग हो जाएगा एक मिनट हाँ ओके okay, या yeah. ओके okay, मैंने पुरानी वाली भेजी है आपको जिसमें मेरे चेंजेस नहीं है अच्छा आप एक बार देख लो वैसे मैंने आपको इंटरव्यूज मैंने आपके ऐसे इंटरव्यूज देखे हैं मैं ऐसा फॉर्म मैंने बहुत नहीं कर रहा हूँ लाइक किसी को भी बट आपके देखे आप आपके हमेशा इंटरव्यूज चलते रहते हैं तो बड़ा सही लगता है देखना कि तो उसमें समझ में आ जाता है राइट कि तीन चार साल या पाँच साल एक्सपीरियंस वाला लोग कि क्या पूछ रहे क्या एक्सपेक्टेशन है तो आपके जब भी मैं देखता हूँ तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हाँ भाई मुझे ये थोड़ा बहुत पता है आई मीन थोड़ा अगर मैं इंटरव्यू की रिपेयर करेंगे तो हो जाएगा तो बड़ा सही लगता है रियल टाइम इंटरव्यू है ना तो उससे पता लग ही जाएगा कितना पता चल ही जाएगा वो मैं ऐसा नहीं बनाता हूँ कि मतलब पहले हो गया फिर मैं इसका बना करके फिर बता रहे वो वो भी है लेकिन कम है मैक्सिमम वाला देखो क्या लाइफ ही है मतलब अच्छा बट ये इनको कंपनी को पता नहीं चलता क्या कि आपने ऐसा कुछ डाल दिया है करके कुछ बोलते नहीं क्या <laughs> नहीं नहीं वो नाम वो जो है एक्चुअल जो कंटेंट जिसका है वो मैंने ब्लर कर दिया है जैसे नाम भी है उसके बाद तुम पोस्ट करोगे तो कोई इशू नहीं आएगा बहुत लोग डालते हैं अच्छा नाम वीडियो जो भी है वो सब ब्लर रहना चाहिए बाकी एक्चुअल जो क्वेश्चन है वो तो कॉमनली आस्क क्वेश्चन है जो हर इंटरव्यू में पूछ रहा है कुछ ऐसा यूनिक क्वेश्चन तो नहीं है जो अमेजोन गूगल इस समय पूछ रहा हूँ तो फिर शेयर कर ही सकते कोई चीज़ नहीं हाँ उनका प्रोडक्ट जो अच्छे हाई लेवल का कंपनी है उनका क्वेश्चन शेयर नहीं कर सकते तो मैं ऐसे भी खुद से बना करके भी नहीं बता सकते कि उसने क्या क्वेश्चन पूछा था लेकिन जो कॉमनली आज क्वेश्चन है ये सब क्वेश्चन जनरली सारे इंटरव्यूज में कॉमनली पूछे जाते हैं सारे सर्विस में तो ये शेयर कर सकते हैं कोई चीज़ ओके लाइक like, मेरा भी यही था पॉइंट कि बस मुझे मेरा नहीं होगा तो चलेगा एंड बट मुझे कॉल्स आने चाहिए मुझे इंटरव्यूज देंगे मुझे पता चलेगा कि क्या सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन वो पूछते हैं तो मैं अभी वैसे प्रिप बट कॉल ही नहीं आ रहा यार बड़ा मुश्किल हो रहा है मैं भी वही देखता कि अभी जॉमन बी की क्लासेस लगाऊंगा क्योंकि मेरे को एक मेरे रिक्रूटर से भी बात की जॉमन वाला उसने मुझे सीधा बोला यार मैं तेरा लाइक सही एक्सपीरियंस वगैरह सही वगैरह ठीक है ठीक है मैंने ऐसा नहीं बोला बहुत सही है बोला ठीक है कॉल आने के लिए सही है तभी कुछ ये नहीं है बट उसने बोला कि वो जर्मन रहेगी तो ही क्योंकि सी नहीं हो रहा है ना जर्मनी में बहुत इंडियंस आ गए तो मुझे हाँ। सीधा बोलता है कि अगर एक अप्लीकेशन होगी और सौ लोग होंगे तो यार बोले नब्बे लोग तो इंग्लिश स्पीकर वाले ही होते हैं हाँ। दस लोग होते हैं वो जर्मन प्लस इंग्लिश वाले तो उनको प्रेफरेंस ज्यादा मिलता है हेलो हाँ uh, मुझे ये भी पूछना था कि uh, क्या पूछना था <laughs> 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 
हाँ मैं ये आपको बताने वाला था इसमें अगर मेरा आप सी में देखोगे ना तो वो जो सेकंड नंबर की कंपनी नीचे से सेकंड ये जो आल से सेकंड वो फेक है वो फेक ही किया है मैंने अच्छा अच्छा तो उसके ऊपर क्वेश्चंस पूछेगा तो कैसे बताते हो फिर उसका प्रोजेक्ट एक्चुअली तो मैंने एक्चुअली क्या किया था ना कि मैंने अभी जो एक, एक साल वाली क्लास क्या कराई तो मैंने वो प्रोजेक्ट बता समझाया था अच्छा तो मैं वही प्रोजेक्ट एक्सप्लेन करता हूँ अच्छा अच्छा इट्स लाइक यू एस गवर्नमेंट वाला प्रोजेक्ट था वो अच्छा हाँ एक्सप्लेन कर दोगे तो फिर वो कोई प्रोसेस फिर नहीं करेगा कि मतलब लोग थोड़ी ना देखने आ रहे हैं कि एक्चुअल में काम की होती है लेकिन बैकग्राउंड वेरिफिकेशन तो होता होगा ना तो उसमें पता नहीं लगेगा इंडियन कंपनी से तो ये नहीं कर पाते ना अच्छा अच्छा अगर इंडिया में रहता तो हो जाता था हाँ इंडियन में तब तो फिर उधर जा करके तो नहीं करेगा ना बस बट इंडिया हर जगह हर कंपनीज में होता है क्या बैकग्राउंड वेरिफिकेशन हाँ जो एक्चुअल जो क्लाइंट वर्क होता है जो वहाँ पर जब लगता है तो उधर करता है सब बैकग्राउंड वेरिफिकेशन एक्चुअली पूछता है बस वहाँ के एम्प्लॉय से कि क्या काम किया है उसका कैसा इन्वामेंट था उसके साथ काम करके कैसा था मतलब बस उसे कैरेक्टर रहता है वो कैसे काम किया नहीं बड़ा कंपनी बंद हुई तो बंद हुई तो फिर अचार्ट होगा कोई ना कोई तो पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट होगा उस कंपनी में तो उससे कॉन्टेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हो का नाम और मोबाइल नंबर मांगता है वो दे दोगे अच्छा तो उससे बात कर लो कोई दिक्कत नहीं बट उससे कैसे वेरीफाई कर लेंगे कि ये सच में जेरियन कंपनी की नहीं थी वो तुम्हारा तुम्हारा वेबसाइट होगा ना उस कंपनी का तो वेबसाइट पर जा सकते हैं बात कर सकते हो फिर जो उस कंपनी का जो हेड है जो एच है या अगर सी से कांटेक्ट है उसका अगर नंबर वगैरह है तो वो भी डाल सकते हैं उससे भी बात कर सकते हैं हम लोग तो वैसे वैलिडेट हो जाता है ये कंपनी के वेबसाइट में भी नाम वगैरह लिखा होता है तो उस नाम से उस नाम को मैच कराएगा फिर नंबर दे दोगे फिर कांटेक्ट करके फिर वो वैलिडेट अच्छा ओके वैसे ये फिर उसका मैं एक एक लाइन बाई लाइन वो लिख करके मैं दे दूँगा वो नोट पैड ठीक है ना चलेगा और मुझे उस पर ना एक ये पूछना था कि अगर मेरा जैसा आप रेज में ओपन करोगे ना और एक बार आप ओपन कर मैं वैसे आज के में डेवोप्स भी पढ़ता हूँ थोड़ा डेवोप्स भी पढ़ो लेकिन एक चीज पर फोकस करो अभी चलिए डेवोप्स का बेसिक चीज पूछेगा सी आई सी डी के बारे में पूछ सकता है जेनकिंस में स्क्रिप्ट कैसे लिखते हैं वो सब पूछ सकता है वो में एग्जैक्ट स्क्रिप्ट वगैरह लिखने के लिए पूछेगा बहुत एक दो में ही अभी तक मेरे से पूछा है जितना भी इंटरव्यूज दिया पैंतीस चालीस इंटरव्यूज लेकिन जनरली मैं जो देखता हूँ ओपन लेवल से पूछेगा कि डॉक्टर क्या होता है क्योंकि तो में कैसे वर्क करता है कैसे वार्ड्स में डिप्लॉय कैसे करते हैं मेट्रो सर्विस ये सब बेसिक चीज़ें पूछेगा सी आई सी डी क्या होता है कैसे बिल्ड चलता है पाइप कैसे चलती है बस वही चीज़ पूछेगा बेसिक लेवल ओपन कर लिया हाँ तो उसमें ना जैसे आप नीचे जाओ थोड़ा ऊपर ऊपर थोड़ा ऊपर 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 उसमें एक वाइवा कंपनी होंगी या इसके ऊपर वाली इसके ऊपर वाली वाइवा हाँ ये कंपनी जैसे हाँ वाइवा जी एम बेच इस पर जो मेंटेनशिप थी मेरी ये अच्छा तो ये ये ही काम किया है मैंने राइट तो इसमें क्या लेकिन ये पॉइंट भी थोड़े सही से लिखने पड़ेंगे राइट अपने कोर्स के भी हाँ ये टेक्नोलॉजी यूज तो ठीक है इसको तो बुलेट पॉइंट्स में ऐड करके बताओ ये अलग से टेक्नोलॉजी यूज पर बताओ ओके 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 चलो ठीक है और जो डेट वाला पार्ट है इसको राइट हैंड साइड में लिखो मैं रेजो में भेज दूंगा उसमें देख लेना की कहाँ पर मैंने चलो ठीक है ओके और मुझे ये भी पूछना था कि इन फ्यूचर जैसे समझो कि अगर मेरा कभी इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यू याद है तो आपको क्या कॉन्टेक्ट लिंक पे ही करूँ कि क्या करूँ अगर मेरे को लगा कि आपसे बात करना है मेरे को थोड़ा सजेशन चाहिए ठीक है नंबर दे देता हूँ उसमें व्हाट्सएप नंबर दे देता हूँ ठीक है ठीक है और मेरे को ना आपको ये बोलना था आपको मैंने देखा है कि आप 
अरे देखो जैसे ना लैमड़ा इतना पता है ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन के लिए यूज होता है वो लाइक फंक्शनल इंटरफेस है ये सब पता है वो कैसे काम करता है बट जैसे आप देखोगे ना जैसे भी आप किसी के भी वीडियो देखोगे राइट वो क्या करते हैं बड़ा शॉर्ट वाला लिखते हैं एक सिंगल लाइन वाले लिखते हैं वो बड़ा इजी पड़ता है समझने में बट आप जब मल्टीपल यूज होता है जब कभी मैप यूज हो जा जाता है लाइक मैप प्लेटफॉर्म वो तो वो भी समझ गया मेरे को वो पढ़ा फिर मैंने बट जब ना ऐसी जैसे वो सैंडविच केक बन जाता है राइट चार पाँच आप लिख लेते हो डॉट ये फंक्शन डॉट ये फंक्शन डॉट वो थोड़ा कन्फ्यूजन हो जाता है काफ़ी हो जाता है ना जैसे आप फ्लैट मैप यूज़ कर रहे हो राइट आपने एक जैसे मैंने एम्प्लॉय ऑब्जेक्ट निकाल दिया राइट बट मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ कि मैं उसके बाद और एक मैप यूज कर रहा हूँ ठीक है अभी उसके बाद डॉट मैप यूज कर रहा हूँ और मैं कुछ दूसरा चीज कर रहा हूँ फिर उस एम्प्लॉय में ऐड कर रहा हूँ तो वो तो समझ गया था कि एम्प्लॉय फील्ड में वो चीज मुझे वो भी सेट करनी है इसलिए मैं उसको कॉल किया बट वो थोड़ा कन्फ्यूजन पार्ट है हाँ मैंने ऑलरेडी इस पर स्ट्रीम पर काफी वीडियो बना दिया है उसको तुम बोर्ड तो कर सकते हो मैंने ऑलरेडी प्ले लिस्ट बना दिया है तो ओके चलो प्ले लिस्ट देख लो यूट्यूब में चार पाँच वीडियो है पाँच से छह वीडियो है उसमें स्ट्रीम्स का मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन कवर्ड है ज्यादा पूछते क्या जाओगे तो फिर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर पे फोकस ज्यादा होता है ये सिस्टम डिजाइन पर होता है तो ये दो चीज को मैं अच्छा ओके ओके okay, okay. और जैसे मैंने जैसा मैं जो जो शॉर्ट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस दिखा रहा हूँ मैं कि वो तीन साल वो दिखा दिया और तो ये साढ़े चार पाँच महीने का ये एक्सपीरियंस है तो मेरे को सिस्टम डिजाइन के भी क्वेश्चन एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं क्या कुछ ओके okay, आजकल फ्रेशर्स को भी थोड़ा बहुत पूछना शुरू कर दिया सिस्टम डिजाइन तो अगर तीन चार साल एक्सपीरियंस है तो सिस्टम डिजाइन पूछेगा ही पूछेगा थ्री ईयर्स के अब पूछता है अच्छा ओके एक एक स्पेसिफिक राउंड होता है सिस्टम डिजाइन के ऊपर एचएलडी एलएलडी राउंड्स हाई लेवल डिजाइन लो लेवल डिजाइन लो लेवल में तुम्हारा मैंने ऑलरेडी वीडियो बना रखा है लो लेवल डिजाइन के ऊपर इसमें सॉलिड प्रिंसिपल्स आएगा सारे गैंग ऑफ फोर डिजाइन पैटर्न्स वो भी आ जाएंगे इसमें तो हाई लेवल डिजाइन मेरे को एक चीज बताओ आप आपने बिहेवियरल सॉरी बिल्डर डिजाइन पैटर्न पे वीडियो वगैरह बनाया है क्या हां हां बना दिया मैंने एक बार बोर्ड पर ओके उसमें एल एल के प्ले लिस्ट में जाना है उसमें होगा प्लस सिंगल टन भी है दो पार्ट में सिंगल टन है फिर फैक्ट्री एब्सट्रैक्ट फैक्ट्री है फिर बिल्डर है फिर प्रोटोटाइप है ओके चलो ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच हाँ चलो मैं आपको व्हाट्सअप करता हूँ आपका नंबर तो मिल गया है ठीक है ठीक है चलो ठीक है थैंक यू फीडबैक दे देना टॉपिक में ठीक है चलेगा चले ओके चलो बाय थैंक यू ठीक है चलो बाय